everybody. Today we're going to be doing the entire Fate Servant chronology. So, just a heads up, there may be some parts of this that are kind of messed up, and that's entirely because the Fate Servant chronology is very, very skewed. There are some characters in history that are merely storybook characters or fairy tales, so what we're going to do to the best of our ability is pin them down to when they approximately showed up. If we can't get a setting in the book, then we're going to try and put them into where the book was originally written. So, without further ado, let's just get started. So Parvati is technically the oldest deity that we have because she appears before the Mahadharta and the Ramayana. Hinduism is the oldest practicing religion and Parvati was there pretty much from the start, making her the oldest deity. It is fairly possible that Ishtar and Erish Kegel existed longer. However, we have a longer record of Parvati existing than we do of Ishtar. So next up would be Ishtar. As mentioned prior, she appeared in Sumeria originally, known as Inanna, and then she would eventually become the Ishtar that we know. Sumeria exists around 4500 BCE, but we don't know exactly when Ishtar first appeared. Followed up closely in the third spot is going to be the third oldest Greek deity, Eros, who is the inspiration of Amore. So you may argue that Cupid is the inspiration, but the Romans essentially stole Cupid from Eros, so we're just going to count her as Eros, making her the third oldest deity at Chaldea around 3000 BCE. Astraea would return to the heavens at the start of the Bronze Age, in 3300 BCE. Karna would die at 3138 BCE on the 17th day of the Mahadharta War, killed by Arjuna after he was shot with an arrow. Arjuna would follow up very closely in 3102 BCE. Ashvatham, Ash, Hot Wheels, I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to attempt to. He died around 3102 BCE in the version of the story where he actually dies. Otherwise, he's technically immortal because of his curse, where he feels infinite amounts of pain and instead of just getting to die, he has to suffer forever. We don't exactly have a time frame for when the Epic of Gilgamesh takes place. We just know that Gilgamesh exists around the, the time of 2900 to 2700 BCE. And we know for a fact that Enkidu would die before Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh would die shortly after Enkidu, after going on a journey to find the Herb of Immortality. He would find it, and then it would get stolen by a snake. So the Jaguar deity attached to Jaguar Warrior is actually an old Olmec deity. The Olmec civilization began around the 2500 BCE era. So we're going to counter her as 2500 BCE. We don't have an actual approximation as to when she first appears. Fritra appears in 2000 BCE. That's when her legends supposedly take place. Kama first appears in the 15th century BCE. She's another one that is very likely older, but the first time she's recorded appears around this time. So Vincent van Gogh is kind of an interesting character in Chaldea because of the pseudo-servant that she is. I say she because every single thing written about van Gogh says it is van Gogh. I've tried to find the thing where it says it's his sister. I can't really find it, I might just not be looking very hard. However, it is completely irrelevant. What's important to this is that she is merged with a water nymph called Kleti, who died in the 14th century BCE. So both the Gorgon sisters, Steno and Uriel, would be killed three generations before the Trojan War by Medusa. Medusa would be killed by Perseus shortly thereafter. Then we come across Chiron, who is very likely older than I'm putting him on here as well, but we do know that he was old enough to have trained Asclepius, who is a pre-Trojan War hero. Canis is much in the same way that she first appears pre-Trojan War. So these two are around the same time period, theoretically. The twins became Gemini around the 13th to 12th century BCE. Asterios may actually be appearing earlier in the 6th century BCE. However, we are not quite sure about that because it's all about when it's recorded onto the pots. The pottery says that he first comes around the 6th century BCE with Theseus, but from my understanding, Theseus is significantly older than that, so it's hard to say. So for now, we're just going to place him here, but just going to throw that out there as a side note. Circe, we know, has existed for a long time in Greek mythology as the Queen of the Witches. She would be the trainer for Medea, so we know for a fact that she's going to appear pre-Medea and the Argonauts. Speaking of which, Medea is on this list as well. She appears around here with Jason and Heracles. Heracles would ascend to the throne of the gods eventually. Jason, I believe, would be killed. And, and Medea herself would kind of just vanish from history. But we do know that all of them occurred around the same time because Atalante would be a participant in the Chaldean Boar Hunt, along with Heracles and a few others in the old Greek myths. So we do know that all these characters did exist around the same time, and that's why they're known as Argonaut-related in-game. The historical figure that is supposedly Nidocris exists around the time of 1292 BCE. We don't actually know if Nidocris is based on a real person or not. I'm just going off the speculation in the character that all historians point towards being this is who she's likely inspired by. Then we have Ozymandias, also known as Ramses II, supposedly the Ramses II from the Bible, who was at present at the parting of the Red Seas. Then we have Hector of Troy, this is where we're going to enter our Trojan War era. 
Hector would be the first one of the characters to die, followed up closely by Penthesilia, and then Achilles, Fen, Paris. These two would both be shot by an arrow when they were killed. Odysseus, however, would survive the Trojan War to go on his own adventures where he would also encounter Circe at some point. So the Valkyries are interesting because Ortland, Throd, and Hildur do not actually exist as real Valkyries. We are entirely basing this day off of the Lost Belt in which they appear, which occurs around 1000 BCE when the Norse Ragnarok theoretically happened. Same thing goes for Scotty. King David died approximately 970 BCE. We don't actually have an exact date for that, and that's going to make the next coming character kind of complicated as well, because we don't know if the Queen of Sheba actually died before or after he did. We just know that she appears in the Bible and kind of just vanishes afterwards. So the first myth of Orion appears around the 9th to 8th century BCE. Again, it's very likely that most of these Greek characters have appeared way, 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 way before I have them labeled. However, we're only going off of what is historically accepted. Europa would first appear as the consort of Zeus in the Iliad. That is her very first appearance. Again, she likely existed as a thought before that. However, her first appearance in literature and writing and arts was around the 8th century BCE by Homer. Also around that same time, the historical figure that was Semiramis, who may have actually been one of two or three historical figures, uh, made her first appearance. The real-life historical Romulus, founder of Rome, would die in 716 BCE. The Ramayana supposedly takes place between the 7th and 6th century BCE, so our good banana boy would have occurred her sometime around that time. So our asterism, which is where we get Angry Mango from, first occurred around the 6th century BCE, so that's where we're going to pinpoint his origins. The Battle of Thermopylae would occur around the 19th of September, 480 BCE, which is when Leonidas would be killed. Darius H3 would die July 300 30 BCE, followed up closely by his ever-present rival, King Alexander the Great, who had passed away on the 10th or 11th of June, 323 BCE, from malaria. Mosquitoes, the number one killer of men. Then we have Jin Kei attempting to end the emperorship of China at its inception, 227 BCE. Then we would have the guy who she tried to kill kill himself with mercury in 220 BCE. And then because there's no real present ruler of China, a bunch of war broke out, so Zheng Qiu would pass away at 202 BCE, followed up closely by his wife. We don't actually know when she died, she kind of just vanishes from history at this point, which lends to the credence that she was an immortal vampire. Followed up closely, we have Spartacus in 71 BCE, died fighting oppression, as he does. Then we have Gaius Julius Caesar died the 15th of March, 44 BCE, stabbed by a bunch of guys in the back. That's why we call it the Ides of March, and that's why it's unlucky. Soon after that, Cleopatra would also commit suicide by an asp snake on the 10th of August, 30 BCE. The Ulster Cycle would occur the 1st century BCE. We don't have any actual set dates for it, so we're just going to go off the 1st century BCE and in the order in which they supposedly died, which would be Fergus, followed up by Maeve, followed up by Cuchulain. Cuchulain's kind of an interesting character for that because the way in which he passed away is that he tied himself to a stone, bleeding to death, because he did not wish to die on the ground. Salami would die around the first century AD because we know that she existed around the time of Jesus Christ because the head that she carries around is the head of John the Baptist. Similar story would go for Martha. The stick that she carries around is a gift to her that was given to her by Jesus himself. She is also the sister of Lazarus, who is the kid who was resurrected by Jesus in the biblical stories. Then we'd have good old moon-hungry Caligula, who would pass away on the 24th of January, 41 AD. Utica would be killed between 60 and 61 AD by Nero Claudius' own troops. Nero Claudius would die after being out in the wilderness for three days on the 9th of June on 68 AD. Red hair is interesting because we don't actually have a set date for when the horse died because nobody decided to record that. So I'm just going to make the assumption it died before Lu Bu and Chen Gong, who both died on the same day of the 7th of February, 199 AD. Himiko would pass away on the 248 AD. Then Zenobia, after being paraded around the streets in golden shackles in 274 AD. Diramut's kind of interesting because he would be killed by Fion after he was gravely injured by a great boar. This is why there's the big joke in the FGO uh, storylines where they always talk about how they don't want to go fight big boars, or when they do, it just it just upright kills them. It happened in the summer event, it's going to probably happen in the future. But I have to say 283 AD because we don't actually know when Diramut died, but we do know that 283 AD is when Fion died. Our good old Dragon Slayer Protector guy would die on the 23rd of April, 303, as a saint. Shitona is weird because she is a member of the Ainu mythology. The Ainus are a very, very, very ancient uh, race in Japan. We don't actually know when they came about. The assumption is around 4th and 9th century AD, so the inception of Shitona is up in that uh, ballpark as well. All right, here's where we get complicated. We're going to be going into the Arthurian myth right now. So the Arthurian myth is kind of very, very convoluted. This is because the Arthurian myth is notorious for being a big, uh, how do we say, attractor for people to like add new things into. So lots of legends are written about Lancelot and of Guinevere and of Galahad. Not so much Tristan, but he's there as well. And all the romances and such. So it's hard to say 
what is actually the original legend and what is not. We can trace it back to some dates, but we're going to try and work with what we got. We know that Tristan would be killed before the Battle of Camelon because he would be killed by his lover. I'm going to count the Fairy Knight Tristan as well as all the other Fairy Knights because, uh trying to trace back exactly when Banshees or Bargast and whatnot first appeared is not going to happen. That's all folklore that has probably been there for as long as the people have been there. So long as there has been wind going through houses, there has been Banshees, and I'm not about to go trace back with the first wooden huts were constructed in Ireland, so don't ask me to do that. Next is my dear sweet daughter. She would be killed by Lancelot along with her brother. Agravain would be on this list as well. Percival is kind of interesting because we don't know when he actually died. We don't know if he died at Camelin or not. Uh, there's a chance that he did. It's hard to say. Some sources say that he do. Some sources say that they do not. Something interesting, though, is that his spear is the spear that stabbed Jesus Christ in the side. Mordred would be killed at the Battle of Camelin, however. After Arthur. All the Arthurs. Uh, you might notice that I neglected to put Salter, Saber Altar, up here. I did put Saber Lancer Altar Jesus Christ, up here as well. Because uh, she is an entirely FGO original character, so I'm just going to put her in with the rest of the Arthurs. We'll get to Salter eventually. Lancelot would be returning to assist King Arthur during the Battle of Camelin, but would be too late, and he would become so, so grieved by the whole situation that it would just drive him insane. And then, of course, here's Melusine. Please stop asking about Melusine in that one video. I'm sorry, I forgot her. She needs head pats. Bedivere kind of just falls off the face of the planet after he refused to throw away the sword of King Arthur twice, and on the third one, then his legend just kind of ends there. Morgana is technically an immortal character. We don't actually have a date for when she died. She technically reconciled with King Arthur at some point, but then went to the island of Avalon, where she is still today. Same thing for the Cockroach. Matilda Hunt would die in March of 453 AD after leading a successful life of raping and pillaging. The Legends of Beowulf occurred during the 6th century AD. He would die due to sustained injuries of the dragon that he slew. The Prince of Lan Ling would commit suicide on 573 AD. The person who Siegfried is supposedly based on, along with Sigurd, is a guy named Sigbert the I. Uh, the legends likely occurred before this. This is all based on historical evidence that we are assuming that Sigbert I is the person that they are based on. We don't know for sure. We do know in the legends, however, that Sigurd is killed by Brynhild, who then kills herself. Then for those of you who are going to point out that Brynhild supposedly was married to Attila the Hun at some point, uh, I, I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know. The time frame is, is too convoluted. I've looked into it. It doesn't make any sense. Neza is actually a fairly old character in mythology. However, we have the Chinese version of Neza, so I'm going to put her in at 618. She has existed for about as long as the Ramayana has, as far as I could find. But we are introduced to the one that is the Chinese one, so we're going to work with that. And for those of you who are going to say, well, why didn't you do that for Amore? It's like, well, it's because I'm playing favorites. The real-life Son Zeng would die on the 5th of February 664 after leading a successful life of traveling and getting lost. Wu Zexian would end her reign on the 16th of December 705. So for all the Matter of France characters, we don't actually have a set date as to when the Matter of France took place. So we do know, however, that Mandricardo would die before Stolfo and Bradamante would. So he's here, and these two are about right here. We don't have a definitive date. If we want to go off of Fate Apocrypha, this motherfucker is still running around. All right, Yang Fei died on the 15th of July in 756 after being a successful courtesan and flute player. We don't actually have a date for Kijo Kyo. We do know that for a fact that she's not actually a dinosaur. She is an Oni. She looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but she's actually just an Oni. We do know that her legend appeared in the Heian period, which is between 794 and 1180. The 1001 Arabian Nights would occur during the 800 AD. Arash, as far as I could find, his exploits would occur between 900 and 1000 AD. Eric Bloodaxe would die in 954 AD and join the Throne of Heroes. Again, this is another one with the storybook characters. It's hard to say when they first appear. My assumption is that she existed in the popular mind way before this, but we do know that she occurred sometime between 1000 and 1500 AD. Ashia Domen or Ave Noseme would appear between 990 and 1000. We don't actually have a set date for either of their deaths. They just kind of vanished. All right, now we're on to Shuten Doji and the rest of the Oni. Kind of. So Shuten Doji would be killed around 1000 AD. I'll tell you why I have that speculation here in a minute, along with Ibaraki. Ibuki Doji would occur during 1008 AD, because that's when the Lost Belt that she occurs in first appears. The reason I say 1000 AD is because that is exactly when Kintoki, Raiko, and all of them existed. And we know that they slew the Oni of Mount Oi. However, in the middle of all that, we would have Murasaki Shikibu, who would pass away 1014. Sai would die either on 1017 or 1025. She kind of just vanishes from history. Raiko, the real-life Raiko, would die on the 29th of August, 1021. 
followed up closely by her bull cutted friend. He would die 1025. Then we have Kiyohime, who makes her first appearance around 1040. Again, she probably existed longer, or maybe not. It's hard to say. For her, I think it was a pretty definitive first appearance in the story. Abbas Bro would pass away in 1070. Hulk Hogan would pass away sometime in the 12th century AD, or at least that's when they existed. Tomoe would first appear during the 12th century AD. She was supposedly a real life samurai woman. However, she is so very, very not documented that it's hard to say if she existed or not. Yan King's legend supposedly occurred during the early 12th century AD. The real life inspiration for Tamamo no Mai was a real supposed Kitsune spirit who started in China and then went to an emperor in Japan who ruled between 1108 and 1123 AD. She would be killed at some point during his reign, being shot by a bunch of arrows. Hasani Saba would pass away on the 12th of June, 1124. Asuzuka Gozen would first appear on 1179 AD. She's another one who was possibly real, possibly not. It's hard to say. Both Benki and Ushiwakamaru would perish on the 15th of June, 1189. It's possible that Benki died before Ushi did. So this one's kind of contentious as well. Quetzalcoatl first appears in the 13th century AD. It is very possible and actually very probable that she existed way, way, way before that in some variation. However, we have to go off of the fact that the Aztec civilization was around the 13th century AD and she's based off of the Aztec Quetzalcoatl, so that's where we're going to place her. Oberon makes his first appearance in the 13th century AD as well. He was initially described as a tall elven man, not a fairy. The real-life Robin Hood would die on the 18th of November 1247 after being bled to death in a monastery. Some say it was conspiracy, others say it's just the medication of the time, which is where they prick a vein to let out all of the uh, bad bile in your body. So the Hassans, we don't actually know when they occurred. There is an actual inspiration for the Hassan of Serenity, which is what's known as the Poison Girl in Hindu mythology, which is someone who, if they touch them, you just die. But we're basing this off of the Hassans. They had to have happened after Hassan Isaba, so we're going to have to go off of that. We do, however, know when the Cursed Arm Hassan existed. That's because during 1273, he supposedly was the father of one of the NPCs. So we can actually pin him down to around this time frame. The Legends of Tawara Toto would occur during the 14th century AD, where he slew the giant centipede with spit on his arrow. Jacques de Molay would perish either on the 11th or 18th of March, 1314. Some hundred years later, Joan of Arc would die a very similar fate. Burnt at the stake on the 30th of May, 1431. The reason why I have the altars up for her here is because that is supposedly when they came to be was after her death. This piece of shit would be killed on the 26th of October, 1440, after being busted for being a pedophile and a murderer. Vlad Tepes would die either on December of 1476 or January of 1477. We don't actually have an exact date. We just know it was somewhere around that time. Muramasa is a weird one because he kind of just appears and then disappears around the 1500 AD era. We know for a fact that he existed because his swords existed and they served as an anti-Tokugawa weapon, and so as such, they were a lot of them were found and confiscated. Hence why they're also known as cursed swords. Mochizuki Chiyome was so good at being a ninja, we don't actually know when she died, we just know it was around the 16th century. This piece of shit would die on the 20th of May, 1506, after leading an unfortunately successful life as a slave trader and explorer. Leonardo da Vinci would pass away on the 2nd of May, 1519, followed up pretty closely by William Tell, 1534, and then Paracelsus, surprisingly, I thought he was older, passed away on the 24th of September, 1541. Oda Nobuyuki, also known as Oda Nobukatsu in game, would pass away in 1558, being killed by Oda Nobunaga himself. Kato Danzo would pass away in 1567. Kagetora in the 1578. And then Nobunaga and Ranmaru would pass away in the same day in the same way on the 21st of June, 1582, burnt to death at Honoji. Actually, Nobunaga would commit seppuku and Ranmaru would hold the door to make sure that people couldn't come in and claim Nobu's head. I believe that is the impetus for the most recent Guda Guda event. Two years later, Ivan the Terrible would die on the 28th of March, 1584. That same year, to show how weird history is, Mori Nagiyoshi would die on the 18th of May, 1584. Our big booba captain would die on the 28th of January, 1596, followed up closely by... Oh, wait, no, not actually followed up closely. We have to think about it like this. Osakabe Hime is a weird one because she's technically a mountain deity. She's existed in Himeji Castle pretty much for as long as Himeji Castle has been there, but she was supposedly a deity that existed long before. She supposedly still exists to this day and will visit the owner of the castle and tell them the castle's fortune for the coming year. Fumikotaro would die 1603, Bald Spear would die 1607, Regindo would die the 13th of April 1612, the progenitor of Kabuki, Isamo no Okuni, would die 1613. This motherfucker would die on the 21st of August 1614 after being walled up in the castle where she lived, after bathing in several, several girls' blood. Next year, Chacha would die committing seppuku in a burning building, much like her aunt. Then Shakespeare would pass away on the 23rd of April 1616, Amakusashiro would pass away on the 1638 at the age of 17, 
leading a failed revolt for the Roman Catholics. Miyamoto Musashi would pass away on the 13th of June, 1645, supposedly staring up at the sky at an eagle, or at least that's what Shimosa told us. The following year, Yagyu no Muninori would die on the 11th of May, 1646. Jin Liang Yu would die two years later after leading a very successful career as a military general, leading the White Cavalry to several victories. Also, she was a front reporter of agriculture. This is another one that's kind of weird in history because we don't actually know when Abigail Williams died. The assumption is that she either died during the witch trials for pointing the finger at people and people took revenge on her, but she kind of just falls off the face of the planet, but in the event that the former is true, she would have died around the age of 11. The events of Frankenstein take place during the 1700s. We don't actually know the exact date, we just know that it is sometime in the 1700s. Blackbeard would be killed on the 22nd of November, 1718, after having his head decapitated and placed on top of a mast. Mary Reed would die on the 28th of April, 1721, due to sustained injuries in the last fight that she had. And Bonnie would vanish that exact same year, very likely changing her name and joining a different crew. Bartholomew Roberts would die in 1722 after leading a successful campaign as a pirate gang leader. So I'm going to put Coup Alter around here because this is when the American singularity occurs. Supposedly Coup Alter came to be through a wish on the Holy Grail of Maeve during this time, which is why he is in altar form. So we're just going to put him here because this is when his inception occurred. The Hessian who rides Lobo is actually the headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. However, we don't know when that Hessian first appeared. Hessians were German soldiers who came over to fight in the American Revolution, so he had to have died sometime before 1790. Mozart would die on the 5th of December 1791, followed up closely by his love, Marie Antoinette, who would pass away on the 16th of November 1793. Charlotte Corday would die the same year, after having killed the revolution leader. Habitrat has absolutely existed in folklore longer than the 18th century. However, the first recorded writings of her that I could find were set in the 18th century. So, we do know there are other folklore characters that exist similar to her, such as the Norwegian spinning women and the Germanic versions. However, we're gonna go off the British one, which unfortunately occurred in the 18th century. So just take this with a grain of salt. She's absolutely existed much longer. Jekyll and Hyde is set in the 1800s. 1806, on the 4th of July, is when this motherfucker was killed. Mephistopheles is based on a book called Faust, which is an old German book, he, which was written around 1808. Cavalier Dayan would die as a broken old woman in the 21st of May, 1810. Napoleon Bonaparte would die on the 5th of May, 1821. Salieri would pass away on the 7th of May, 1825. The events of the Count of Monte Cristo occur around the time of 1839, or at least that's when the book supposedly ends. We don't actually have a day for when Edmond Dantes dies. Okay. Okita Alter first came into existence when the regular Okita was born, and then after that she was kind of just whisked away as a member of the counterforce in a weird exchange thing. I'm not going to explain it, I'll probably do a video on alters and why they are what they are, and I'll explain it then. So, look forward to that. Katsuhika Hokusai and Katsuhika Oe would die in the 10th of May, 1849 for Hokusai. Then Oi would die 1866. The Legends of Paul Bunyan would first occur during the late 1800s, so that's 1850 and onward. I know that those legends are still actually being added to today, so we just have to take that wall with a grain of salt. She never actually exists as a real person, as we can see from the game, because she's made of fucking udon. Lakshmi Bai would have a failed revolt on the 18th of June, 1858, where she would pass away. Okada Izo would pass away on the 11th of May, 1865, followed up closely by his dear good Guda Guda friend on the 10th of September, 1867. Fun fact, Oryu is actually a real person based on Ryoma's real-life wife, so this is an actual canonical couple, and I'm glad to see them together again. Captain Nemo would die in the book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in 1868. That same year, Okita would die of tuberculosis in 1868 on the 19th of July. Then, Hijikata would die after being shot in the head on the 20th of June, 1869, leading a very successful career as a Shinsugumi me vice captain. Charles Babbage would pass away on the 18th of October, 1871. Hans would join him after succumbing to liver failure on the 4th of August, 1875. Once again, Benny Enma very likely existed so much longer than she was getting recording for. However, there's a big movement around this time frame and a lot of different countries to record old folkloric stories. So we're just going to put her down for 1880 because that's when she was first recorded into writing. The Phantom of the Opera occurred around 1881. That same year, Billy the Kid would be killed. 1888 is when Jack the Ripper would commit all of her crimes. We don't actually have a set point in time as to when the actual Jack the Ripper died because we still don't know who it was. Van Gogh would pass away on the 29th of July, 1890. Both Moriarty and Sherlock Holmes would die on the 4th of May, 1891. Four days later, 
Helena Blavatsky would die as well. Lobo was a real-life wolf that would be killed in 1890, killed by a guy named Seton. On the 1st of August 1903, our cheerleader would pass away, succumbing to alcohol. Geronimo would die on the 17th of February 1909. Florence Nightingale on the 13th of August 1910. And this is an interesting one. On the 28th of September 1915, Mr. Motivated here would pass away sitting Seiza style in his drinking room just completely upright. He was one of the oldest living Shinsengumi members. Matahari would be executed on the 15th of October 1917. This is another pretty tragic one. Anastasia would be killed at the age of 17 on the 17th of July 1918. For those of you who want to make the argument that Anastasia, we don't actually know when Anastasia died and that's why she's so famous, like that's incorrect. There was actually a fairly recent excavation that was done and they found her body along with all of her siblings in a ditch in Russia. Thomas Edison would die on the 18th of October 1931 after leading a successful career as a martial artist. Li Xuan would pass away on the 24th of January 1934. Tesla would die in 1943 as a virgin. And then the most recent heroic spirit would be Voyager the First, who we lost contact with in August of 2012. Thus, he joined the throne of heroes then. But we are not done yet. We have the crossover with Kara no Kyokai, which occurs in the 1990s, so both Fujino and Shiki would occur sometime around that time period. Then we have Emya, who died five years after the Fourth Holy Grail War. The events of Fate Apocrypha occurred during the autumn of 2004. So here is where Saber Altar actually is. She was corrupted by the Holy Grail and thus was born technically in 2004 AD. Now, this is complicated because there's a whole timeline aspect to this that I'm just not too privy to. I've tried to look into it and it's all weird. In some timelines, Iris feels dead. In some timelines, she's not. In one timeline, she's just she is just Ilya's mom. So if you really want me to break it down like that, I'm not going to. <laughs> you can be mad at me at that if you like to. That's fine. It's just, I, it's not my fault they want to do a multi-universe thing. This version of Ilya, along with Miyu and Chloe, also occurred in 2004 with Fate Khaled. Taiga existed in 2004 and pr technically present day. We don't actually have a set date for as to when Emya joined the Counter Force, so I'm just going to say 20XX for that. Now, some of you may have been wondering where Skahawk is. Well, she technically didn't die and join the Throne of Heroes until 2015 when humanity was incinerated. So... That's where she is. If we're going to be super technical about it, first century BCE with Ku Klain and all them. Again, she's immortal, so she didn't die. Santa Jean Alter Lily, Jesus Christ, uh, occurred in 2016, also with a thing with the Holy Grail. Our two mechas first came into being in 2017, supposedly. Mosh is present day. Lord El Malloy is present day. All the Saber Wars characters are present day, so MHX is here. Reynes is here. Grey is here. Space Ishtar is here. MHX Alter is here, even though technically she dies at some point, according to the second Saber War where she's just kind of like in a black counter void thing. I look, <laughs> look, I don't understand it either. 2019 is when we get our Da Vinci Lily. 2025 is when Eris exists. Again, 20XX, we don't really know when Emia became Emia Alter. It has something to do with Szechuan Kiara, but now we're at the moon cell, which occurs around 2030. I think the real assumption is 2033, but it could be any time before or after that. We just know 2030 is the supposed date. Nurse Rhyme is technically based on Alice from Alice in Wonderland. However, she is a mere copy of a character in the books. She's kind of just the manifestation of that. So instead of counting her as Alice from Alice in Wonderland, we're going to count her as her own thing. Then we have King Protea, Passion Lip, Melt, and Kiara. I don't know why I put down 2033 for this. I think that's just around the time when she was supposedly killed and then brought back to life as a master in the moon cell. It's hard to say. In Fate Extra, BB is one of the longer lasting characters, so she's just kind of here. But the oldest character that we know, the one who exists and just is always persistent, is none other than Ganesha herself. But the aspect of Ganesha in this character doesn't really exist, so I'm just going to count her as Jinako. But that's it. That is the entire Fate Servant chronology. I'll add to this at some point in the future, but for now, bye.